some of the best minds in the world bringing you some of the best knowledge on TRS clips. Do you remember the whole Kalpana Chawla incident? I remember yeah, it yeah. happening when I was a kid. And yeah. I remember even before it happened, there was a lot of hype in the Indian media about it. Yep. Uh, I mean, for especially because we have a lot of teenage listeners, college mm-hmm. listeners, I'd love for you to explain who Kalpana Chawla was and about that mission as well. Yeah. So, I mean, Dr. Kalpana Chawla actually had a very special place in, in my heart. I've actually never met her in person, but when I was you know, figuring out how to become an astronaut, I was looking at everybody. I was looking at the Apollo astronauts, um, astronauts at NASA, who have, the you know, the Roscosmos astronauts, how they got to space. But it wasn't until I saw Dr. Chawla and her career um, that it really resonated with me that that's something I could do. And it was simply because I saw somebody I shared an identity with. I, there were, no Indian women I could look up to before that doing um, aerospace engineering and going to space. And that really, you know, took down a mental barrier that turned my, you know, dream of going to space into an actual plan to go Mm. to space. So even though I've never met her, she's definitely had a really big impact on my life. Mm. And, you know, unfortunately, um, there was the incident with the space shuttle, Um, And of course, passed way too soon. But her legacy lives on in so many young women that looked up to her. And she was a pioneer. She was an incredible engineer. Um, So, you know, her legacy lives on in so many young women. Mm -hmm. I'm not young anymore, actually. So many women. (laughs) I I mean, how does it feel being in that position now where probably you're going to carry the torch forward? Yeah, I, I mean, I... I'm honored. I mean, I think representation is is key. It's hard to be something you can't see. Um, so seeing women, seeing Indians in d- doing incredible stuff, especially in the aerospace industry, hopefully will inspire a generation to at least you know think about the opportunities in the STEM fields. What had happened on that particular mission? Like what had gone wrong? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't. I'm not an expert in the shuttle program, but um, unfortunately, uh, on there was uh, an issue with the heat shield. So um, during reentry, the the vehicle um, did not make it, um, unfor- like, and lost I'm the assuming crew. a heat shield reflects the sun's rays away or something. Um, like. When you reenter the atmosphere, there's a lot of heat, um, so. Uh, you have to dissipate the heat effectively um, to come back. The shuttle travels at a much higher speed uh, because it's an orbital vehicle than our vehicle. So we don't have those same issues. Um, but uh, yeah, so yeah, it dissipates the the enormous amount of heat that you have to get get rid of, for lack of a better word, when mm-hmm. you're re-entering. So oh. basically distribute. So um, the vehicle so, can safely land. Like in this case, it ended up absorbing a lot of the heat. Until um, it, so it, what happens is that um, if any component, like uh, any material can only take so much heat. I mean, you know, you, you've 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 burnt things, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> things that were not supposed to be burnt <laughs> or, t- or heated, you know. Um, it's the same kind of co- concept. Any material, if 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 you don't manage the heat distribution properly, if one area heats up too much, it will lose its structural integrity. Mm. You know, with those rockets that take off and then they suddenly burst, what actually goes wrong? Like there's a bunch of different things that could go wrong. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, there's actually, I, I think I think movies dramatize mm. <laughs> things. I mean, there isn't that many incidents. Um, there have been a few, and we've always taken lessons learned in the past from these government programs and and uh, commercial programs, and you know, put them into future uh, vehicles and programs. But I think, you know, movie. I mean, you always have to capture someone's imagination. So movies like Gravity and others have things going wrong all the time. Mm. But in reality, there's so many processes and so many different checks um, and and engineering work and analysis that gets done that, you know, and of course, the flight test program also, I mean, you have a a very lengthy program to create a product. Um, So I think it's, you know, when we're looking at the movies, it's a a little dramatized. Mm. um, And we're achieving, especially with the commercial space industry, a new level of safety just from the amount of times we fly, the ability to test often. Um, So I I know space always has its inherent risks, but the safety 
the safety record, you know, in itself is, is pretty good. Mm. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you.